All right, everybody, we're back with the Mercedes build. This time we're gonna be working on the exhaust. So uh, let's dive into it and see what we could do. All right, we got the passenger side over here. It appears that the 98 Camaro headers are gonna work good. Okay, of course, it, there's gonna need modifying, but you're gonna be able to get through it. Okay, so I'm gonna cut all these off. I don't like the way that looks, don't need them. Okay, so passenger side, we'll know how the exhaust side exit looks, like in what direction it's gonna be in to see what adjustments we gotta do on that side. On the passenger side, I mean driver side, I had to cut the actual header as y'all seen on our previous videos to bend it out this way to get that out this way and clear the actual steering shaft so let's go under there and check it out i cut the actual little thing that was here and i cut it in half and i'm gonna probably cut it some more down here and on the other edge bend it down and then cut it to the shape of where the welds at tuck a weld on top of that and close that up and then if we got enough clearance i'm just gonna start tacking these you know one spot jump on the other one and just keep doing little spots to fill all this in so let's go underneath there and see what our clearances are let's see if we're gonna be able to make it happen on that passenger side without modifying it just took off my hand. Uh, okay. Uh, well, it looks like I'm gonna be able to use it because there's like a little gap around it. On this side, there's a little baby gap there. And I still need a screw, but it still needs the gasket too on the manifold. Maybe I'm gonna just shave this down with the grinder. You know, a little bit more clearance, like man, take that off. And I'm just gonna buy the flange on this side and make it happen. Okay, well, I'm gonna brainstorm on that. Let's see, the passenger, the driver's side. There we go, it cleared it. I got this side to clear, so I'm gonna just take that manifold off. I got a good finger in between there, but either way, the pipe's gonna be right here. I'm gonna put the pipe inside of it, like right at it, so, you know, not push it all the way in there, just like line it up halfway into this because i think this steel has got to be at least a quarter these flanges so i'm just gonna push it in a little bit push it in a little bit right here and then put the tube in it and and we'll just start building off of there and building a you know what i'm probably just gonna go from here I'm gonna go straight back onto this steel and I'm gonna put an X pipe in the middle. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I got an X pipe thrown back there. So I'm gonna use that bad boy. So yeah, I'm gonna weld this guy up and then we'll continue from there. So I'll, I'm gonna weld it up and then I'll cut y'all back on and we'll see what we got accomplished. I'm gonna grind down that it, that one. I'm gonna grind it down. Or who knows, I might do the same thing I did to this one and just put the tube inside of it and start building off of there like that. I don't have to order a flange or none of that. I just, you know, start custom building it. We'll see what's going on right now, okay? It's looking good though. All right, I'll cut y'all back on. Okay, I welded up the manifold as best as possible all the way around. 
Okay. I covered up the little tube that I had sticking out for the EGR valve or whatever it was for. I really don't know. Pollution pump, whatnot. But this one's ready. And I got the other side ready too. I cut the actual pollution pump or whatever the REGR valve plates or whatever. One on the bottom and the top. I cut the flange down there. Okay, I cut it. So like that, it gives me more clearance. So, next is the, I'm gonna try to configure the pulleys up front. I'm gonna put the alternator and the power steering pump and try to find out how I'm gonna run these hoses. And uh, I'll put y'all back on when I get that settled. All right. Okay, coming back on the alternator bracket with the power steering pump all in one okay uh well i got the power steering pump in there i'm gonna have to use the one with the reservoir the one that came from the van and figure out where i'm gonna mount the reservoir somewhere out here somewhere make a bracket for it i wanted to eliminate doing that but there's no way because the other power steering pump will be in the way of the alternator but now the damn alternator is too damn high so I'm gonna have to bring out the grinder and cut this bad boy up and figure something out. So, I'm gonna have to customize this bracket. I'm gonna try to figure something out. But definitely it's not gonna work and we're gonna make it work. Okay, I'll cut y'all back on when I get some kind of idea going on here. Okay, I just wanted to give you an idea where the alternator bracket puts that alternator at. So, right away, we already know that's not going to work. The hood's not going to close right there. It's higher than the damn throttle body. And it's too close to the edge. So, I need it lower. So, let me just remove this screw from right here. The one hand. Drop it on the ground. So I'm going to cut the alternator bracket. Okay, and I'm going to put the alternator somewhere around that area. That's where I want it. So we're going to cut it up. And find out where we could put it somewhere like that. Right here. I'm going to try to see if I could get my radiator hose enough space like out of its way so here we go nothing but fun right okay back with the alternator and the power steering pump bracket so that's what i had to do guys had to cut the top off okay now the alternator is hitting down there i think that that hole should be okay because as you look at it the angle is right there has like at least a good half inch in between it. I'm gonna see how it gets when it expands. If I gotta move it, there's nothing I can do but move it. I'll probably just go a little higher, like drill it up here somewhere and see if it'll be okay to have it a little higher and then just move this out the way. But that's where I'm at. That's what it came out. That's what that's what came out of the whole bracket. You know, you start cutting it and seeing what's gonna come out of it. I still got one more bracket to build, and as you can see down there, there's another the other screw that to mount the alternator on. What I'm gonna do is just put some uh, flat bar from here to there, bolt it through, and hang it onto here and that should be good so it sucks because the bracket was powder coated but it is what it is you know it was not meant for this car that's just stuff that i had laying around so that's where i'm at this is all the the little things that you got to go through when you're modifying something so you know, we got the AC pump down there, cleared perfectly. Now we got the water pump already. 
and the alternator and the power steering pump everything's set up so i'm going to put the cooling fan in here see my spacing see what needs to happen with this with this water pump neck i'm even thinking i could probably even put electric fans in the front and just you know leave this alone but i'm gonna see because i want to really use the factory uh fan right there so let me see what i can get out of it and i'll cut y'all back on okay next we're gonna have to mess with the tensioner uh, of course i used seven eight spacers that brought out the water pump front so guess what now we got to take seven eighths off of these to be able to bring back the belt where we need to be because i think it's gonna have to be somewhere like around right there so i'm gonna have to cut up this and cut up the the triangle off of this and just leave the two mounting uh holes right here and put it somewhere like around right there. So we could use the factory belt tensioner. So let me cut that up and I'll cut y'all back on. Let me get it. Okay. I messed with the tensioner already. I grinded it down. First I cut off the little legs. As you can see where it mounts on the actual tensioner. And uh now it lines up perfectly where it's supposed to. I already gave it a few hand turns and it lines up perfect. So I took seven eighths off of them to match up with the spacers that I used on the water pump. And then I had to cut some of the front off right here. It had like a triangle coming out the front and that wasn't gonna work here. So I cut that off and this is what is left. So it should work for me. This is the one off the, the, the truck, okay? So, moving along to the next thing. Okay, on a Mercedes uh, serpentine set up in the front with the alternator, power steering pump, and a water pump. Okay, this is where I'm at. Okay, I got this long belt that I have laying around here in my shop just to see where I'm at. As if, is, this, is it lining up? So like that, I'm able to see what I'm doing. But I'm noticing that I'm gonna have to go all the way around and all this stuff. So I got the my tensioner here. It goes to the bottom, and then it goes around the power stream pump up to the alternator, and then it goes to the bottom of the water pump and clears it back up. So what I'm gonna do right there in the middle where the crank meets up with the power stream pump i'm going to put a nidler right there just a pulley to lift up on the actual to lift up on the belt and give it more grab on that crank so this is what i'm going to use this is the original truck okay uh bracket for the power stream pump in the alternator five threes four eights a lot of six old truck trucks use this one on some uh, older models i don't know how far it goes so but this is the pulley that they use on top where the alternators at this is where the alternators are at and so what i'm gonna do on mine is uh i'm gonna move this just pretend this is the actual bracket that's inside the mercedes it. Here we go. So this is where I'm gonna mount it on the one that's in a Mercedes. There's a bolt that goes from here all the way into the block. And I'm gonna put it right there. Okay. So let me show you underneath the car what I'm talking about. Okay, this is what I'm talking about down here. Okay, this is my crank. I'm gonna try to point at it. This is my crank right here. 
and there's the power steering and right underneath it is the bracket it has a bolt that goes from here to this hole right here okay let me see if i can light myself up with it but i know y'all can see my finger where it went right there okay so it goes from there to there and uh, i got the spacer that's gonna go in between the bracket from here to the from here to the block okay all i'm gonna do is just add the wheel in front of it so that i got a uh, push up on the belt so more wrap around on that crank and that's what you want for it to be able to push everything and then on the ac pump of course i'm just going to use its own little setup because it has its own little belt that runs for the ac pump and that's what i'm going to do for that so that's where i'm at i keep going at it and uh wait well here's the pulley right so i'm gonna put it See the belt's gonna go like that. Shoot, can't even see the belt because it's black. Okay, so it's gonna wrap around it. The belt's right here. It's gonna wrap around it now. So like that, there's more grab on that. The belt is gonna line up perfect because it has, behind it, it has the correct spacing you see, it has a little aluminum spacer there on the pulley. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to get a longer bolt and see if it lets me reach the block. All right. I'll cut y'all back on when I get more done.